We are the ISUBK out of one. Colin Wakanda. Well, we'll bring up the next powerful speaker right now. We're the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under command of Jenny Ahana. You understand, brothers and sisters out here, make sure as you stand around, grab a flyer. This is for blacks, natives, and Hispanics to grab a flyer. And, and, and the information is at the, bottom of the, is at the bottom of the page. You can find us. We have classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can find us online, YouTube, and Facebook. We're going to bring up the next powerful, powerful speaker to speak for the Lord on this corner today. Man, no sweat. Let me get a read of it. Most high in Christ. So like if I may. Come ya shala! Come ya shala! Come ya shala! Most high in Christ. Grab this here Bible for me, brother. You about to go ahead in. I pray for you heathens that's out here in this corner tonight. Y'all heathens out here, y'all gonna have to get that whole mouth full of me tonight. If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. You understand? We the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. We started out of 1 West 125th Street out of Harlem, New York, under command of Johnny Ohana. In 1969, the Lord put the priests and prophets back on this earth to teach blacks, natives, and Hispanics that they are special according to the Lord. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 4. What the brother was just bringing out was absolutely heavy. And due to the Christian church, we have failed to get how special this Bible is and how much it can fix the black community. We have lost everything that could actually mean anything to us. And that's why we out here today to teach black standards and Hispanics just how special and how valuable you are to the Lord that brings diseases to America, that brings plagues to our oppressors. We are out here today to show you so. You got that scripture, brother? Go ahead and read that. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. While the brother get the scripture, we gonna keep letting you know, you understand that black status and Hispanics, if you on this sign right here, you gotta thank your father, man. You gotta thank your father that you are a part of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. You understand, prince of the power, that's what y'all shall mean. And we have a black leader that you don't have to search for no more. All you gotta do is prepare yourself for his leadership that he's willing to give you, for the sacrifice that he gave for us. When Christ died upon that cross, he did not die so we can go and live our own lives. You understand? He sacrificed, sacrificed his life so we would get off of crack, so we would get off of cocaine, right. so we would get off of coke. You understand? So we would get out of the Christian church and learn what it means to follow the God of this Bible. You understand? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Go ahead. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, uh -huh. and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. You understand? This is what we're supposed to do. The first thing we got to understand that the Christian church always screams, but never tells us how to do. They always say, give your love to Christ. Give all the blood and blood through Christ and we love God and just give it all to him. Give it all to him. Well, Pastor Porkchop, what am I supposed to give to him? What am I supposed to do? All you're screaming is love God. 
But what we did not know for the last 40, 50, 60, and so much more years, what we did not know is that we cannot love God how we choose to. The Bible tells us how to love God. You understand? Any father that gives rules to his children and them children follow them laws, you understand that child to you is very honorable. You proud of that child. You know that your child loves you because when you say no, your son or your daughter says yes sir. When you say yes, you know that your, that your daughter and your son and your family and your wives, they love you because they obey you. Thus saith the Lord. Give me Deuteronomy 4 and 6. We're going to bring it out nice and heavy today. You understand? Give me Deuteronomy 4 and 6. The Lord considers us special and we're going to show you today how it is that you're supposed to love the Lord. You got that? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 6. Keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your sorry, and your understanding in the sight of these nations. Now we got to understand something. This right here, this is what makes you wise black man. This is why every oppressor laughs in our face. This is why every black leader has absolutely failed you. Because we didn't know what our wisdom was. We thought wisdom was just the OG game that old head whoever gave us on the block. When this right here, this block right here, this is the only block you're going to get wisdom from. In every corner that the ISUPK under Commander Jenny Hanna is standing, that is the block that you'll get your wisdom from. Read. God. We shall hear all these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Now listen, you want to know why every other nation would understand that we are wise and understanding people, man? Because we have laws that tells us what we can and what we cannot eat. You know what that saves you from? Coronavirus. You know what that saves you from? Ebola. H1N1. Flu. All these and above. Your 14 days of staying away from somebody, quarantine is in the Bible. What we don't know is every nation has built their politics, their economics, their finance off of a religious belief or off of their records. What we have not known is that this is not a religious book. This is records. Bible comes from the root word of Biblios, which is a Greek word, which means record. Holy. Can anybody out here tell me what the word holy means? You got to understand, to read the context of the Bible, you got to know Hebrew. The men back here are taught Hebrew, ancient Hebrew and Assyrian Hebrew. The Lashawan Kodash, the holy tongue. And to understand what holy means, you got to learn that in Hebrew, it means separate. The Lord had a separate record for a separate people, and it ain't for everybody. Read. For what nation is there is so great? who have God so not to them. Now these nations will look and see just how put together we are. They wouldn't look at us and say pull each other up by the bootstraps. And we gotta pull ourselves up by the bootstraps. We pulled America up. We built all of the kingdoms of this earth through slavery, through blood, through tears. Our oppressor has separated our families for generations. And we have continuously built every kingdom for pennies to see our mother and father we went and picked some cotton for hours just so i could see my friend we talking about pennies and dimes before they gave us a penny our so-called income was just to see our family member at the end of the day before they decided to give us any sort of income but these nations read it again for what nation is there so great who have God so not to them. And this is what I'm saying. Every nation would see how put together we are, how clean we are. You gotta ask yourself something. Black people, Hispanic people, and Native American Indian people are your best warriors, your best soldiers, your best police officers. You understand? You would think that a brothers that are standing in, in an oppressive uniform would let loose seeing what's done. And he still holds his composure. We your best cooks, your best rate, uh, 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 your best uh, sport teams. Right. You only spend thousands of dollars to come see a Negro shoot a ball. You only spend thousands of dollars to see a brother dip off at the finish line. We the best at everything, and these nations would realize through our law, statutes, and commandments, there's something that our father does not stand for: interracial marriage, drug abuse, homosexuality. You understand? You cannot be just what you want to be. The Lord got a plan for you. 
You understand? And there's certain children that had a plan for them, uh, uh, a plan for themselves. But your father was the wisest, purest thing that created the heavens and the earth. He had a plan for you, and that plan was to rule. The Bible is black supremacy, and it is beautiful in my sight. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You understand? This Bible right here is our records, and in past times when we followed it, every nation saw this. It ain't no, it ain't no conspiracy. We wouldn't be eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster, so we'd be the only ones not getting diseases such as coronavirus. We would not be destroying ourselves with drug abuse. We would not be walking around like zombies. But America and our oppressors, starting from South America and up, pushed heroin and crack into our neighborhoods as an experiment. Before you had any medicine to have a pregnancy, before you had any medicine to have a pregnancy, these devils used to cut our sisters open with no medicine. And the doctors that are operating on this sister would leave because of the horrific screams from these sisters. You gotta understand our Bible and now the priests and prophets that taught the truth of this Bible wanted us to separate from such things. Wanted us to separate from our oppressor. You understand? We looked at it as some hate group. Well listen, you would get your kids and your friends away from a snake, right? But how many of y'all out here been bit by a snake? None. If you was in the water and you saw a shark fin float up out of water, how many of y'all would get scared? But you ain't never been bit by a shark. However, there is a devil there's an animal that walks this earth that has bit you. That has took a good chunk out of the black and Hispanic and Native American Indian community. That's right. That animal has bit you. And our oppressor, the colonizer of this earth, is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Go ahead. For thou art an holy people. Who? Uh, for thou art an holy people. Keep reading. Unto the Lord thy God. Go ahead. The Lord thy God has chosen thee mm -hmm. to be a special people. Now understand something. I understand it might hurt everybody's feelings, but you got to understand we're not the Christian church up here. Everything in this Bible is very possessive. The Lord is not confusing. He keep it to you straight and blunt. And that is something that every person, every tribe on this side knows. Black, Native, and Hispanics, we're very blunt. And the Lord is very blunt. Who do you think we get it from? Who do you think we get it from? The Lord is very blunt. Read it one more time. I want people to understand. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Go ahead. For thou art an holy people. For thou art an holy people. You understand to be holy is to be separate. The Lord is saying that Israel, we're going to get it. He's saying that Israel is a holy people, is a separate people. Keep reading. And to the Lord thy God, uh -huh. the Lord thy God has chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Unto himself, man. You got to understand something, how special and how genuine and how authentic it is for you to be something special to the Lord. You're talking about the person that put, the, the God that put mountains, the God that brung hurricanes and tornadoes, the God that put the sun in the, uh, in the uh, sky, the God that made the stars shine. You understand? This is going to be the same God that is going to bring a black king named Yahweh Shai Mashiach in the Hebrew. But the, but the world knows him as Jesus Christ, a black king to come bring salvation to you. There's a reason why the Lord has separated us, man. Black man, it don't matter how much you want to love everybody, it's impossible for you to be equal. I know you try so hard, but you got to understand you're already separate whether you like it or not. You understand? You go in there, you get into that business, and guess what? You outshine everybody. Within the first week, you're being considered as to be the, the supervisor. You understand? You got the sisters. We done sent them up to the moon. You understand? We done built your computers. We done paved your roads. We've done everything. You understand? And the Lord has separated us because having those type of qualities is something special, man. But the biggest quality that the ISUPK teaches from this Bible is brotherhood, man. It's brotherhood. Because only brotherhood is going to take those qualities, those specialties, mix them together and build the Lord's kingdom, man. But instead, our qualities has been used and juiced up like a raisin, man. Has been used and abused. And in return, we've built every heathen's kingdom. We here to stop Asian hate. All lives matter. We hear all of these different slogans every year. And in those, in those protests, you find black people and Latino people trying to get their voice out. We lead their own protests. Make that make sense to me, man.
we lead their own protests, man. You understand? This Bible right here is real. And we're going to continue to prove it to you. Read. What you got? Go to Deuteronomy 27 and 1. 27 and 1. You understand? What this Bible teaches us is how we can rule. How we can have a family. How we can build a family back together. How we can start investing into ourselves. How we can start investing into our future. The Bible is the blueprint for black staters and Hispanics to rule this earth. We have the most compassion. We are the only nation on this earth that you can take my brother from me and will still look you in your eye and forgive you. And we should not run this earth? No problem. There is a God that does think we should. And it's going to come. It's prophecy. It's prophecy and it's in the Bible. You got that scripture? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 1. And Moses with the elders of Israel. Now I want you to understand something. I said it earlier. The Bible is very possessive. It's very straightforward. It's very blunt. It said, and Moses with the elders of Israel. Read it one more time. Deuteronomy 27 verse 1. And Moses uh -huh. with the elders of Israel. With the who? Elders of Israel. With the who? Elders of Israel. With white people. Elders of Israel. With Chinese people. Elders of Israel. With Asians. Of Israel. Africans. Israel. No. It says with Israel. It said Moses with the elders of Israel. This is very possessive. Israel is right here. So if you ever thought that Moses was talking to you and your people, you've been lied to. Read. Commanded the people, say, keep all the commandments which I commanded you this day. Now listen, Moses with the elders of Israel, he gave us a very specific thing to follow. He said these commandments right here, we gonna follow them. As we coming out of captivity in Egypt, we're going to need rules. We're going to need organization. We're going to need to learn what it means to be a nation and to care for one another. You understand? Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 1. We're going to break it down. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. We got to understand how important this Bible is and the rules that our Father gave us, man. There's a reason why when Christ stepped on the scene, he increased the law. There's a reason why he did that. There's a reason why these law, statutes, and commandments go for black staters and Hispanics. The name of our school is the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, man. The Bible is the answer to every problem that's in our households, man. And it's practical to follow it, man. It only makes sense. You got that? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass. And thou shalt hearken diligently uh -huh. unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now we just read in the last chapter that Moses with the elders of Israel. So we're going to go back to this verse right here. And I want you to listen closely. 28 and 1. 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass. And thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe and to do all his commandments. Which I commanded thee this day. Uh-huh. That the Lord thy God will set thee up high above all the nations of the earth. Now hold on, man. That sounds like something that we haven't been taught ever in the Christian church, man. Ever. In five minutes, you about to understand that every single black leader has lied to you. That the Christian church has lied to you. You understand? The Bible just showed us that if we hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Thy God is very possessive. Your God, black man. Your God. Not, the, uh, uh, not another nation's God, but your God. If we hearken diligently unto our God, the Lord is going to do what? Set thee up high above all the nations of the earth. Now listen, man. Black and Hispanic people are the only ones that get told something about equality. Name some white person that ever came up to you and said, I don't feel like I'm equal. Name it. Anybody? I don't know the people y'all know. But somebody raised their hand to me and show me one other nation that has said that they don't feel equal, man. Black people are the ones, we are 28 and 1. Black people are the ones that have fed a spoonful of a whole lot of equality. What the Lord just said, if we listen and hearken and apply these things to our lives, he would set us on above, above all people on the earth, man. We just read it out of the Bible, the most accurate book that has ever touched the face of this earth, man. The Lord just said that we, if we follow these laws, statutes, commandments, we're going to be above all these people, man. 
That's what the Lord said. And we would get all of these blessings. But there's something that'll happen if we do not, if we do not follow these law, statutes, commandments. It's in the Bible. It's called a curse, man. It's, all, it's called a curse. But if you look around, before we even read it, look at what black people go through, man. Three, four jobs just for crackers and Wonder Bread. The brother said it the other day, and it was so heavy. We used to pop ketchup packets open, and that was our dinner. That's a curse. That's a curse. We used to pop syrup and ketchup and mustard and whatever, whatever condiment you can find for dinner, for a snack. Right. Now show me another nation that goes through that. Don't let me go over to the, uh, uh, is it Haiti, sir, with the, with the mud cookies? Come on now. Those are our brothers over there who are eating mud cookies as a dessert, as a delicacy, as a food they eat because they have nothing else to eat. A mud cookie. You heathens can never survive such a thing, man. That's right. You heathens can never dis uh, 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 survive such a thing That's right. and deal with it for lifetimes, for generations. You can never deal with it. But I tell you what, you will deal with it. There's a time that comes that you will have to deal with it. You're talking about stop Asian hate. Pray for Israel, pray for Palestine, but ain't nobody praying for us, man. But somewhere you'll find a black man or Latino man praying for them. Black man, it's time that we pray for ourselves. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. A racist, a chemist, ain't nothing but stick to his chemicals. A racist stick to his people. Listen, everybody, everybody wants their kid to be the best in the class, right? Everybody wants their kid to be the best on the team, right? Well, the God of this Bible wants blacks, natives, and Hispanics to be the best on this earth. That's all, it's very simple. You see what happens when you wash the Christianity off the Bible? You see what that happens? That's all it is, it's the truth, man. It's the truth and it's a dangerous thing for America. The Romans had, had uh, documentations. The Romans had documentations of a black man named Jesus Christ who would go around Rome teaching the truth and y'all know what they called him? The same reason why we called dangerous. They called him a, uh, uh, a fanatical revolutionary. You know what that means? That's an extreme word for somebody that's dangerous. And all he was doing was doing the most dangerous thing that is detrimental to America. And that's teaching that black status and Hispanics are the chosen people of the Most High. That's all he was doing. But that's dangerous for our, for our oppressor because that means they have to listen to a nigga. That means they have to listen to a spick, to a wetback. That's what that means. And oh Lord, they don't want to go through that. They've been inherited it black slaves and Hispanic slaves and Native American Indian slaves for generations. Colonel will come, where we at? Give me Matthew 5 and 17, Bubba can show. Give me Matthew 5 and 17. You understand, bear with me. Give me Matthew 5 and 17. We gonna go into how it is the Lord, our Lord, you understand, gave us these laws. And we gotta understand the importance of these laws and what it is that does for us, man. Read. Think not that I have come, think not I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. Mm -hmm. Now the scripture is saying in red, man, our king is speaking and he's telling Israel, man, think not that I've come to destroy the law or the prophets, man. The scripture in the Bible says that God does not change, man. Why would Christ step on the scene and teach something different? Nah, all he did was increase the brotherhood of the law. He showed us what it meant. He showed us what it meant and the reason why. For instance, the Bible says you can't sleep with your brother's wife. Christ came on the scene and taught you why you shouldn't. The Bible told us in the law, statutes, and commandments that you cannot get high and destroy your body. Christ came on the scene and told you why you shouldn't. We are on the scene to show you why you shouldn't. We know it's hard out here. We know it's extremely hard out here as a black and Hispanic man, as a Native American Indian man, but here's something you didn't know. Christ came from the hood as well. Nazareth was Southeast. Nazareth was Chicago. Nazareth was Compton. That's what you didn't know. And Christ came up and he taught these law statutes and commandments, man. A black man stood for what it is that is valuable. And that's understand that you love the skin that you was born in. That you love the blood that goes through your veins, man. The Lord looks at us and wants to be proud of us. And we ought to give him something to be proud about, man. 
We ought to give him something to be proud about. And when Christ stepped on the scene, that was his absolute mission. That was his absolute mission to bring us together, man, underneath the God of uh, our God. Read. Think not that I, I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Now, Christ came to fulfill these things. And you got to ask yourself, for every disgusting Christian pastor that tells you that the Bible is done away with, that tells you that the law, statutes, and commandments are done away with, you got to ask yourself, why does they sleep with our wives? Why does they try to run game? Why does they pickpocket your grandmother's uh, uh, tie money? You got to ask yourself these things, man. Why would your pastor want the law, statutes, and commandments to be done away with? Ask this, hey, thank you, brother. You understand? Grab your flyer. Why would your pastor tell you that the law, statutes, and commandments are done away with? Why would they do that? Why would I say that something of a law as such of you not eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster should not be no more. Why should I tell you, no problem, you can smoke and destroy yourself no more. You can be depressed, have anxiety, and get no justice. Because when you ask and teach that the law, statutes, and commandments are done away with, you're also saying that black staters and Hispanics should get no justice. That is exactly what your Christian pastor is teaching you when they say the law, statutes, and commandments are done away with. Because in these law, statutes, and commandments, our God brings us justice, man. In these law, statutes, and commandments. So you got to ask yourself, why should it be done away with? Christ came to fulfill these things. The ICBK is the reason behind black, black marriages being fixed. Is the reason behind the, the nation building within a nation that is fallen. We're the reason behind it, man. And we thank the Lord for it, man. Christ came to fulfill, and all we're doing is, is, is continuing that mission. Read. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily, I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot, one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Now listen. One jot and one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. That shows you how serious this law is. You understand? There was something that you knew that our fathers, anybody that grew up with a hardcore father, there was something that your father did that you knew he wasn't playing no games. All my father had to do was this stare. You get that stare from across the room, you know you better tighten up. The law said, listen, not one jot, that is the dot and above an eye. Something as small as one letter in this Bible and a tittle which is the simple crossing of a T, shall in no wise pass from this law until heaven and earth pass. And this earth ain't passing, man. This earth ain't passing. Heaven will be on this earth. A black heaven, a black kingdom, ran by a black man, will be on this earth, man. You understand? And these law, statutes, and commandments, here's another thing. It deserves to be around forever. It deserves to be around forever because it maintains brotherhood and maintains the spirit of Christ. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven than the south. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord Feel like I can take over the world with one sword 144,000 men on one accord Not being in this army is something you can't afford The real niggas across the board, ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king, round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta, ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power, standing strong like a man in our camp, it ain't no cowards. Nah. 144 grand, nigga, it's step before the song. Rather die like a man, man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours. I'd rather die 